hello and welcome to the intuitive messenger channel they call me mitchell and this is your energy forecast for today monday november the 24th as well as tuesday november the 25th 2014 as always thank you for taking time to retweet post subscribe become a fan and even support me on a monthly basis financially on patreon.com all that information is below so today, diving right into the lesson, as you can see, there's noise going on in my house this morning. The animals are up and having fun already. So the, num uh, the, the teaching for today actually is going to be about fear. And it has a little bit of the law of attraction attached to it. But basically, just like you might take your money and put it into a bank account or a savings account and invest it in some way, shape, or form, you're expecting and going to get back some kind of money, more money back for the money that you invested. So as I was reading through, again, Paul Selig's amazing book from his guides, uh, the book of Knowing and Worth, a simple statement really caught my eye, and it was my meditation, or it was my focus during meditation this morning. That is, if you invest in fear, you're going to get back that which you are investing in, and that is more fear. So throughout your day, find out where you are investing in fear. Oh, I'm never going to find love. That's fear that you're not going to find love. So you're going to continue to get that investment back. You know, your children, oh, are they going to be safe? Are they going to go down the wrong path? Are they going to, you know, get thrown in jail again? Whatever it may be, are you investing in that fear? Are you investing in it? That's the question you want to ask yourself simply. Just ask your guides, your angels, all those on the other side, Anything that you can inter consider something on the other side that you connect with and helps you and guides you, just say, show me where I'm investing in fear because I want to put it into that investment today. I want to shift accounts. <laughs> I want to put it into a love account and start investing in love or high vibration and then just continue to reap the benefits of that. And it's it's that's a simple way of putting it. Um, not going to say it's the most easy thing to do, but it definitely is a simple way of doing that. So uh, it might be a short lesson today because that was it. That feels very good. Short and sweet. Stop investing in fear. Start investing in love and high vibration. Done. Let me dive into the energies of today. Oh, I know what they told me. I'll tell you in just a moment. And the energies of today is the, today is the 24th of the month, and that boils down to number six, which is the lover's card in the deck. Also, the all the numbers you add up today give you 15, which is the death card, which is about endings, death, bringing things to an end, and of course 15 boils back down to six, and that is the lover's card. I pulled the house and the four of corns for today from yesterday. So let me pull another Lenormand today, and I'm going to tie this all together. And that Lenormand is 25, which is actually tomorrow's number, but this is the ring. This is about commitments, unions, um, coming together, contracts, you know, anything that is like bound by an agreement is what this is usually about. Um, and it could be about a ring. It could be just simply about a ring or jewelry. And then the tarot to go along with that is Seven of Swords. So with the investment of fear that we we're just talking about when you look at the energies today there's there's possibility of commitment and love there's also that death card which is the ending of so there could be the ending of a uh, relationship but but i like to look at that as more of the ending may be the ending of your singledom singledom singlehood being single moving into a relationship um or definitely is a shift and a change and then the seven of swords oh that is all about fear coming into your life um, and letting people steal your peace so where are you going to invest positively today remove the fear invest positively in the commitment in bringing things to an end in the ring energy and then even the seven of swords positively think about how releasing any fear can happen um, and just moving forward in that so it was kind of neat how these cards pulled together and made this made this work and diving into tomorrow's energy, which is number 25, which you already felt a little bit of that energy in the ring just now. So 25 also boils down to 7. 7 is that chariot energy, quick, fast moving, um, dynamic, um, just full of, of uh, choices. You know, it's like this way or that way. There's nothing in the middle, no gray. It's black or white. Tomorrow's energy, also you add up all the numbers for tomorrow, and you're going to get the number 16, which is our tower energy, dismantling, changing, shifting, moving 
following on the heels of the death or the ending card. So definitely a lot of movement going on today and tomorrow. And a Lenormand to go along with all these is the uh, is the um, crossroads or the paths. This is all about choices. As you can see, it's a number 22, which is a master number. So you've got choices tomorrow. They're going to be quick. They're going to be fast. And they're going to dismantle things. And then the terror to go along with it is going to be the King of Swords. So this is a day where you're going to probably, because the King of Swords will make choices and decisions very quick, very fast, from a logical place, very air element, able to speak the truth with all this blue. So the energies of tomorrow, you know, are, you know, release the fear. We talk about it today. Release that fear and tomorrow make those decisions quick, make them fast. Use your logic and move forward in a very beautiful way, um, investing in love and high vibration is what I say. So, yeah, it's a short one today. That's all right. I'm good with that. So, uh, it, it's so funny. And you hear me stammering and stumbling today, too. So, I, I know that's some energy out there. So, so definitely, you know, it's like I'm trying to form the words, which is not a bad thing for me. I, I, in other words, I'm not self-conscious or worried about it. It's a cue for me that there's definitely something going on that I'm, I'm experiencing that and I'm feeling this day's energy of, hmm, mm, mm, what kind of decisions do I need to make? Tomorrow I'll probably be able to talk much more rapidly and move through it. So look where you're hesitating, where you're having a difficult time forming your words today as well. And um, definitely just make those commitments and move quickly into them today and tomorrow. So check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. If you feel led to support me financially for these videos, they're always going to be free, always going to be available. But on patreon.com forward slash intuitive Mitchell, I do supply those who support me um, one or two extra videos that go into more detail of some of the stuff I talk about here and also that they recommend. You can find that there. And thank you for those who are supporting me there. Um, we had no blog talk radio last night. Had a great night with Fabian. So it was a lot of fun that we got to relax this coming Sunday. We will definitely have blog talk radio. I'll keep doing these morning videos and whenever you get to watch them and oh keep an eye out for a special I'm gonna do a Black Friday Black Saturday special it's gonna be about YouTube readings spirit is gonna work that out I'll probably post it tonight or tomorrow but it's definitely gonna be a big discount and I'm gonna be utilizing Friday and Saturday to get a bunch of uh, videos done if you choose to purchase one there'll be a special price just know that that's where spirits gotta work it out so talk to you later have a wonderful day and namaste bye bye